Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Apple Watch Series 3. I was really excited to get my hands on this because a while back, I broke my Apple Watch when I was balling a little bit too hard. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the Series 3. I got the LTE model, space gray, 42mm black sport band, and I want to go ahead and unbox it for you guys right now. On the front of the packaging, you're going to see it says Series 3. This is just a little bit different than last year's packaging for the Series 2. It's in red. I assume that's only for the LTE version. And on the side of the Apple Watch box, you can also see the red digital crown once again indicating that this is an LTE or cellular enabled model. After you've gone ahead and removed the plastic wrap on the Apple Watch Series 3 box, you can go ahead and pop open the lid and on the very top here you are greeted with some minimal quick start materials. Inside you're going to find a really tiny quick start guide with some other legal and warranty information and then you're also going to get a smaller Apple Watch band if the pre-installed version on the 42mm is a little bit too big for your wrist. Once you've gone through the quick start materials or lifted those out, you will see the Apple Watch Series 3. Once again, very similar packaging to the Apple Watch Series 2 and earlier models. And you've got the red digital crown, once again, indicating that this is a cellular watch and it's a little bit different than the standard GPS model. Of course, we're going to take a closer look at that in just one second. Finally, sort of hidden underneath the Apple Watch Series 3, you have your magnetic charging cable along with the power brick. Now, back to the Apple Watch Series 3, it looks pretty much identical to the Series 2 and the Series 1 slash Series 0 before that. There are not a lot of huge changes here. The only difference between models is that the Apple Watch Series 3 is about two sheets of paper thicker than the Apple Watch Series 2, and if you opt to get an LTE model, you get this red digital crown. I feel like I've heard a lot about this digital crown. The best part is that it serves no functional purpose whatsoever. It's literally just painted red so that other people know that this is an LTE enabled new Apple Watch versus the older Series 1 or Series 2 models. Setting up the Apple Watch Series 3 was as easy as ever. There were no huge changes or improvements in watchOS 4 or an iOS 11 as well. I opted to restore my Series 3 from my older Series 2 backup just because I had all of my apps and data already there. Everything was going great until I got to the cellular setup part of the process, which was the part that I was most excited about, the part that I paid extra for. And when I tried to add this to my Verizon account from the Apple Watch app, I logged in, I used the correct passcode and other information. It just didn't work. It refused to set up, so I had to call Verizon and they figured it out over the phone, but it was a really complicated process. I've seen that a lot of carriers have had outages or challenges adding Apple Watch Series 3s to their data plans or to their cellular plans in general. So if you have had some issues, try to call your carrier. I was able to resolve it with Verizon pretty quickly, but it was definitely more challenging than I thought, especially for an Apple product. Usually setup is easy and painless, but adding the cellular watch to my Verizon data plan was relatively complicated and required two or three different people at Verizon to help me along the way. Aside from those LTE setup issues, everything else with my Series 3 has been great though. I can't tell if it's a lot faster than last generation. I did talk to Siri. Siri finally talks back through the speaker. It's not just on the screen anymore. It was kind of weird. Weird. I wasn't expecting it to be so loud and just kind of in your face and I, I couldn't figure out how to turn it down so that was kind of cool but also kind of weird in a public setting at the same time. Even though the watch is slightly thicker than before, I haven't noticed any tangible differences when I'm wearing it on my wrist, and it's still weird to look down and see a red dot on the digital crown, but it's there and I'm just gonna have to get used to it. Because I've only been using this for a couple of hours, I haven't been in a situation yet where I just wanna go somewhere exclusively with my watch and have LTE and cellular on that and not need my iPhone, and I just picked up the iPhone 8 today as well, so I've been kind of wanting to play around with that. But when the situation in the future does arise and I just go somewhere with my watch. I'll be talking all about that in my full review, so stay tuned for that in the future. As always, guys, I love hearing your thoughts, so let me know what you think about the Apple Watch Series 3 down below and whether or not you will be picking one up. If you enjoyed this video, it does help me out if you drop a like, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.